Hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm going to do a review of a bolt carrier group from AIM Surplus. And a special thanks to Brian at AIM Surplus. Uh, it's AIMSurplus.com. They got some awesome deals. They got some killer deals on ammo, so it's worth checking out. Anyway, I'm going to do it on this bolt carrier group um, that they sent. This is a titanium nitride bolt carrier group. It's a new design that's essentially made to reduce surface area and contact um, between the carrier and the receiver walls and what that's going to do is is cut down on carbon um, and build up and I think it looks it looks pretty nice we're going to give it a test I did find another review on there um, this is proudly made in the USA and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in my Ruger 556 which I did a review on and I'm going to stick it in as is. I'm not going to oil this up. Um, I want to just test this coating. I'm going to give it kind of a, I'm going to give it a brutal test and I'm going to run it in there and we're going to run a 60, 60 round drum through it and then we're going to clean it and we're going to see how well it cleans. The other thing is, is why would you want a BCG? Why would I want to swap out? For example, I got my Ruger here. One is is I like running cans. I, I run a can on everything and we get a lot of carbon buildup and sometimes that just creates, a, it makes it hard to clean. So this would be something that I could use to replace an existing bolt carrier group and another reason why you might get a bolt carrier group, which I did uh, on the back wall there, I got my Radical Firearms 300 Blackout, which I also got from AIM. But I had to do a gun build and when I found that it was a steal of a deal but it didn't come with bolt carrier group and a lot of times I found like your 300 blackouts and some of those don't come with a bolt carrier group so that would be another reason to consider this. So if you want to know more about the bolt carrier group just go to AIMsurplus.com and you can see all the specs and everything. Let's go ahead and pop this in. And let's go to the range and give it a go. Hey, I almost forgot before we go out and test this because we're testing the BCG and we want to check that titanium nitride coating. We're going to put the cheap, dirtiest ammo I well, think that you can get. Tula. We got some 62 grain, but we're not testing accuracy. And then I've got my D60. Okay, my PMAG. And I did a review on that, so you can check that out. And this is what we're going to use. We're going to run 60 rounds through on that BCG. And what are we going to use? We're going to use Tula. Steel case. Dirty. With a can. That's going to get us some carbon. So I think that's going to give us a pretty good idea of how well this stuff wipes off. Let's go try it. All right, so we got our BCG from AIM. Surplus.com in here. And we got our... PMAG D60, and we're going to run 60 rounds of Tula through here with a can and see how well this bolt carrier group does and see how well it cleans. Hopefully, we're going to get it really dirty. So, let's uh, get down to business. So, fired off 60 rounds. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Pretty dirty. And I remember this was pretty much, it was dry. Just take a towel. I don't have any kind of solvent or oil or lubrication on here. That looks real good. I don't want to necessarily take up time here, so I'm going to quick disassemble this. So here's the bolt. 
uh, there must there was some grease on there when it came and again that just impressively wipes pretty much right right off I've had bolts where I've lubricated with fire clean and everything else and it's almost impossible not to get some scoring carbon scoring back here but so far this is wiping off really nice and as you can see it's filthy I mean it it got that's the nice thing with a can is you get to test carbon buildup really fast because when I watched the video of the thousand rounds this is about as dirty as that was let's take a look at the rest of the parts got some good carbon buildup there firing pin and again just gonna wipe these down and see how well it comes off so as you can see with a close-up here I got it all reassembled I used absolutely no cleaning solution product oil anything to clean this all I did was take a cotton rag and I wiped it off there was nothing on it I dry fired it I, I have to say I am impressed I, I didn't expect to be impressed um, I know they're proud of this I've had a lot of bolt carrier groups that had you know chrome uh, nickel carbide this and that and I've had some some pretty severe carbon uh, scarring on a lot of them and this was impressive and then considering that I didn't even get to put any any kind of solvent on it that makes it even more impressive so anyway got me sold um, special thanks again to AIM surplus AIM surplus.com uh, they got a fabulous product here if you need a bolt carrier group I'm sold on this um, I'm happy to, to stick this in my gun and if you found this helpful be sure and like and comment and subscribe thanks for watching until next time